at the lake today. Welcome back to Yak and Yakers. Glad you tuned in and saw our first uh, program. Outside, no more on the back deck and the front porch in the living room bothering the wife and the kids. Um, today, I talked with Frank this weekend. That's him on the other side of the camera. Say hello, Frank. Hello, guys. No, hello, Frank, I said. Can't oh, hello, Frank. Can't follow directions. <laughs> um, today, we're uh, he saw this on YouTube. He, he described it to me over the phone. And I thought, you know what? Let's give it a shot and see how hard it is. Does it work? Is it something we'd want to try? We're here in freshwater. We're at Victor Bronig Lake. It's a power plant lake in San Antonio. It's difficult to fish because it gets a lot of pressure. But we kind of use this on our testing grounds because it's close to the house. We can do it in one day, no overnight need. So basically what we saw was when you're fishing, especially saltwater, um, we all know what chum is. If you don't, it's the idea of spreading bait in the water to attract fish. The idea being you, you attract small bait fish, that attracts bigger fish. We catch, we go home happy. Um, how do we do that? Well, you can take and throw bait, shrimp, mullet, whatever, minnows, stink bait in the water. But you're at the mercy of the drift. It may not stay where you're fishing. So what Frank saw from a gentleman out on the west coast that surf fished was to make a chum rig that attaches to his line. It's real easy to do. You only need a couple of things. Probably have them at home. Number one, medicine ball. If you don't have prescription medicines like I do, um, you can use an aspirin bottle, your kids, vitamins, whatever. Hook, and we're recommending circle hooks. Um, they're designed to hook in the lip, not to be swallowed. Uh, it gives the fish more time to take it and not so dangerous to you or the fish. A three-way swivel, a two-way would work. You can see it's got three attachment points and a snap swivel. And what we're going to do, the idea here is to drill holes in the medicine bottle, as many as we can get, and through the top and bottom. Uh, go ahead and do that. Got the cordless drill. We're ready to roll. How many you ask? I don't know. How many do you want? The more the better to me because what we're trying to do is get the, the chum, the attractant, the smell, the whatever out in the water to draw fish. So you just keep doing this till it's filled up. As many holes as you want. Can't really go wrong here. Why do we want a lot of holes? We want a lot of holes to disperse the chum smell, the smell of bait. Um, I was even thinking if you're catfish in fresh water, you can put dog food or cat food in here. I've heard of guys that put cheese in here. Uh, I've even heard one guy that fishes for catfish using uh, hot dogs with cheese in the middle. So, you can draw holes in the bottom, not gonna hurt. You have to put at least one in the top and bottom, and we'll show you why in just a second here. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take, I don't know, what's that, about two feet? I don't know how to count. I don't either. If I did well in school, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, we're going to tie a snap swivel on. That's to serve two purposes. It keeps the line the bottle from slipping off of course and then also having that snap on there um i'll be honest with you this is the second one i've made the first one i just put a regular swivels to keep it um thinking hey this thing will fill up with water and i can pull it out of the water and, and cast it um but what einstein here forgot is when you pull it out of the water guess what all the holes do they drain the water so you have no weight <laughs> um, so lesson number one the hard way um, lesson number two I learned is if you're going to feed this through the hole in the bottle, one thing you definitely want to do, if you try to hit that hole in the bottom coming through here with this mono, and this is heavy, this is 30 pounds, you do it, I can't. So dummy here after 10 minutes thought, what's the solution to that? Well, it's to go through the bottom first. Okay, remember, if we were smart, we wouldn't be doing it. So, take your line out, put your drill in the top, feed that through. And this is a childproof lid, so it has two holes to go through. 
so that's basically what you want okay um, we want that Look a weight on the bottom. If you need it, especially in the surf where you have current, if you're fishing river, whatever. What we're going to do now, well, we're not going to do it, but we're going to tell you. Um, we're going to hook it up to our three-way. And this length is important only for one reason. It's going to let you set how far up off the bottom your hook is. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Um, what kind of knot are we using there? I'm just using a twist knot. Um, Palomar works better, but I'm too lazy to tie it. So, this is going to connect to the line coming off of our rock. But now we need to put a leader for our hook. I wouldn't go over a foot here. 8 to 10 is probably better. Um, we're going to use... By the way, when I say we use circle hooks, we use inline circle hooks. The difference being this is in line. The hook is still not. You can see, and that lets that fish come through there and get hooked in the jaw. If you use um, a circle hook that's not in line, and just imagine you get a bite, you pull that hook, you just pulled it out of his mouth, didn't you? So what you want is this so when you pull it comes this way it doesn't rotate so let's tie the hook on and we're going to use just the old twist knot i learned when i was five years old i don't know what they call it i call it a twist knot go around six seven times i think i learned this knot i went around seven times because i was seven years old when i learned how to tie it. And that was a long time ago. That was a long then. time ago. We had electricity then. Uh, well, the rich people had electricity anyway. So, now, you see, this is going to be on the bottom. So we want our hook, when this is stretched out, it's no good if your hook's down here. Fish can't find it. So we want to suspend it. So we come up. That's about right. Basically, that's our rig. That's what we're looking at. Weight on the bottom. Chum in here. If you're afraid you're going to get hung up on the bottom, don't put a weight on the bottom. Put your weight in with your chum. It doesn't matter. When you're on the bottom, you're almost a foot off for the bait so the fish can find it. All you got to do now, get your line. salt water aluminum pliers split rings on the end so if you need to change out hooks it's got crimping if you want to use wire leaders it's got needle nose and it's got cutters and this will even cut uh, braid or floral whatever you need so there's our rig guys um, chum it with whatever I would say whatever you're fishing with some of the ideas I had was to use um, if you have a, an attractant, you like a liquid attractant, I was thinking we would save the, the liquid from the gulp. Um, a lot of companies, Berkeley makes a spray on, uh, Bass Pro Shops, everybody makes a spray on. Cut up pieces of sponge and put in here, soaked in that if you'd like. You can catch mullet if you're using a live mullet and uh, cut some of your mullet up into chunks and put it in here. Whatever you want comes in here. Crabs, you can crush crabs, whatever you want to do. Uh, 
power baits. You can throw a power bait in there. That would probably work because they give off scents. Um, the fish bites, things like that. Anything you want to put in here work. I do recommend you have a pretty stout rig, probably a surf fishing, because when this fills up with water and your weight, it's going to be pretty substantial. And you want to use a pretty good pound test. You want to use a pretty good rod so you can, you can sling it out there pretty far. But anyway, unfortunately, we didn't get the name of the gentleman on the West Coast that did that. It's not us that did it. That's, again, something we learned from somebody else that maybe you don't know about. And like we told you on our very first um, show, we're here to educate you as well as ourselves. If we find something we think is going to work, it's going to help you guys, You, uh, the only thing that we ask you is give us a like. And when you give us a like, send us an email so we can give you credit if you send us ideas. It's not about us, guys. It's about catching fish. And we can all help each other catch more fish. So I'll tell you what. Stay on the water. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time.